Hi, Mark Savage here, and welcome to my channel. What are we doing under the bonnet? You know, I did a bit of research on this one. We're doing today, diesel filter. Okay, nice and simple, diesel filter. Now, I did some research. I looked on YouTube, and I found a couple of videos. Both of them in the dark, or a really dark workshop. There was torches everywhere, babbling on, a bit like I do. Made no sense to me. I thought I'd do a really simple version of how to do a diesel filter. There are two sorts, silk container and a container that you open like a jar. This one on this Jag actually has four ports. Others have two, three, and so on. But the basics are all the same. A few rags, a few tools, and the filter itself, nice and easy. Now you're not gonna have a pair of these, and these are actually for taking out diesel plugs, the heat plugs, but they work perfectly for gripping. On these, and this one's got a little clip here, there's just two pushes, one here and one there. Basically, you just clamp it, the lift up. They're under pressure, so wear goggles, here's some made earlier. A few rags, you're gonna get always a little bit of diesel coming out, always. So, right there and wrap there and there we go trying to get diesel everywhere now obviously this is a jag but it doesn't matter what car you're doing really simple as i said this one's got four remember where you took them off from so pull them out of the way make sure you remember where to go don't get them wrong the common mistakes people do is just slap the old filter back in there and hope for the best on these cars they don't have a pump so you have to pre-fill them which i'm going to show you in a minute as a bonus, changing the air filter as well. Now, just changing these two, and to be honest with you, just the one really, but both together will improve performance of your car, miles per gallon, starting, running, you name it. The more these get clogged up, the less fuel is getting through, and the more the air filter gets clogged up, the less air is getting in, which means you really are gonna be burning more fuel than you should do, and so on. So just these two items is brilliant. And what's left of the full service for a diesel car is just the oil change, which I'm gonna do as well. So without any further ado, let's get these pipes off and get on with it. One. How simple is that? I've not normally seen this little clip on before, but it will go back on. On this one, it literally only had a push on it, so I didn't need to do both bits, I could do that with your fingers. And there we have all four off. You can't get them all to go back on because they really do stay in the same places. So two there, two there. A little bit of diesel coming out, you're always going to get that. Now to pop this one out, didn't daddle key, it's connected. This little unit here, you just push that and it popped out. Now, as I want to pull it out, it's got this on the bottom. I've never seen one with an electric connector on the bottom before. But hey, it's just different. Now, let's pop in the shed and get this sorted. So we're in my famous shed, diesel filter, new one. I'm using a Delphi one, so pattern part rather than original Jag one, but looks the same, does the same job. What's the matter with it? So we've got old diesel in here. I'm going to tip the old diesel out. I'm going to refill this diesel one now. <laughs> Put that there nicely. Rag I made earlier. I watched a guy on YouTube pop all these off, and he got he got a funnel thing and he was trying to pour it in. And I could see underneath was the filler. You just undo this, and you fill it in from there. That's what it's for. Why he filled it in there, I just don't know. Anyway, let's tip this one out. And get this one ready. This is the old diesel, you need to discard of this really. It's coming out of the filter. Yes, it's been running in your car, but at the end of the day, you don't want it back in there. Nice, fresh diesel. Best way to do this, easy way of doing this, next time you're gonna fill your car up, 
get an old little can, fill up the motor, put a couple of three litres of diesel in here, fill up this when you've done it, and then put the rest back in your motor, job done. I've got to say, this is actually quite dirty. It's not on like a brown tint to the colour, so that shows this diesel filter was really... When I fill nice clean diesel in here, should run much better. But anyway, let's make sure before I mess around too much, use the box, keep the caps on the end. Pop back in the box, now you can feel it without it toppling over. <laughs> and let's just make sure I don't pour diesel everywhere. Never seen that. So Jag, I wonder why that's there. Someone bright probably tell me why that's there. But anyway, just replace it. Get out. <laughs> Fill the new one up, just pop back in there, job done. Now on the open ones like this basically, and uh, you have to open it up and put the filter inside. Same job, just undo it, drain it all out, wipe out the bowl, Put the new filter in. Remember always you'll get a rubber ring with it. Change the ring. Don't leave the other one on. Diesel perishes things. Put the new one on. Job done. And then we'll get back in the motor. So let's fill this one up. Nice and easy. You may wonder why we do this. If you just put this one straight in your car. Turn it over. Your car will stall. It won't run. There's no way of pumping new vehicles. So you'll be turning over. Putting air in the system. And you're going to have to call a mechanic. This is why you pre-fill it. Okay. Petrol cars aren't the same, but most certainly with diesels, any diesel, do this. No matter what the age is, if you've got a pump, prime it. Don't take them off. <laughs> right, pour out a little bit. And seal. Normally, just put that back on there. Don't over tighten it. Just hand tight. Give it a little wipe. And we are good to go. Turn it back up. Now you have fuel all the way to these four here. I said sometimes it's got three, sometimes it's got two, but this one's got four. Three litre twin turbo. I'm guessing you're doing both sides, I guess. What do I know? Let's, let's stop doing that. Yeah. Diesel does smell. Throw away any rags, anything you use, throw the damn thing away. All we're going to do now is get a small star shape. Remember roughly where it is, there's a line there, you can't get it wrong. Undo. Slip it off. Put the old crap there. Waste diesel. Give it a good old wipe over. And say, so, remember, chuck away everything. Diesel just smells. I mean, not a bad smell in this shed. Don't go in the house. The wife will kill you. Again. Now, do not do this up until you've positioned it in the car where you're going to need it. Because if you do it up now, you're going to be bending it round. So, not that I remember which way it went. Should have looked really, but I haven't. So, purposefully, all I'm going to do now is bring that out, guide it up, tighten it up, and we're good to go. Keep the paperwork for this that you've bought it with, because then you can show someone diesel filter has been done. Right, so we know the clip goes that way. And we've got three there and one there. And there we go. Tighten up the screw. Remember on this one to reconnect the connector at the bottom. Obviously, millions of lights will go off if you don't. 
<laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> it knew I've connected something. Okay. Connecting, job done. And all ready to pop them off and line them up. Number one. Clip down. Number two. Push in and clip down. Number three. These are dub ones, so push in, clip down. noticed three are open holes this one is a tiny little hole guessing that's why it's got four hello Jade hello. make sure they're all on properly and clipped out again so they don't fly off this gets a lot of pressure so one on there two Three, four. I am happy to say they're on there. Put this little clamp on. Again, I don't know what it's for. I'm sure there's a mechanic out there will tell me what's it for, but I don't know. And make sure it's all clamped back in again. And there we have a nice, clean, Diesel filter chuck as well. I'm just going to wipe up first everything. Diesel's a little bugger. All these rads get thrown away. Before I start, I'm going to do the air filter as well. Don't make the mistake of getting in your car straight after hands on steering wheel. It stinks. Right, air filter replacement. Let's do that quickly. Here's what I made earlier. This really, really will make my car look happier and this is so easy to do on this car sometimes you have to lots of screws and bolts and nuts and other times it's under here look how easy this jag is could it be simpler oh. okay then this had been in there a little while how much easier is this going to breathe Give it a wipe over inside. But not with these old diesel rags. Prized what you can get in here sometimes. Wasps, corn, wherever you live really. These pick up and stop the detritus, I love that word. We use crap from going in your car. So, pop it in there. this one you've got to clamp down again Give it wipe over. how simple was that diesel filter and an air filter changed oil was a little bit harder again I watched another video of a guy on the I think it must be the, the petrol version where you can suck out the diesel at the top you can't on this one You've got to get underneath the car, take the belly pan away, get all the oil out. You've got to find where the oil filter is. On this one, it's like the they can be sometimes, an inner filter. So, uh, again, doing an oil change is really, really simple. No video there. Just really wanted to show you a decent video of how to change the fuel filter. Oh. Wipe around here. Do not shut the bonnet yet, because if it gets spray off everywhere, you're going to be really, really worried. So I'm actually going to leave a rag over the top of that. Let's have a go. And here I am inside my car. Let's see if it starts. Foot on the brake. Press the start button. Press the old start button. Now I can't help but keep my foot accelerator just a little bit to run it through. But it took a couple of seconds to start. Job done. Ticking over lovely. No warning lights except the bonnet is open. And shut the bonnet. 
And there we have a happy motor. Job done. Thank you so much for watching. Quick update, my VFR 1200 is at 100,000 views. I am a happy bunny. That was my one goal. Heading for two and a half million views in total. I need 10,000 subs. Keep subscribing. What's next? All changed next. And I said they've been done a million times. I'm not going to show you this on this car. But some of you may notice this little kit here. I'm missing the plugs. It's Triumph Tiger time. I'm going to be servicing this little baby tomorrow. Well, as long as the plugs come. All that's left now, as you know, is to put my tools away. They're quite handy. Although I could have squeezed them with fingers. You don't necessarily need that. You can do it with a screwdriver and push your fingers in or pinch it as hard as you can. Most don't come normally with four, I must admit. Dispose of that. Clean up your tools. Diesel just gets everywhere and it smells horrible. Done. That was handy. Right. <clears throat> that was handy. Thank you so much for like, sharing, and subscribing. Keep watching my channel. Take care of yourselves on the road, whether you're driving or on a motorbike, like me. Hi guys, Mark Savage. Why do I say guys? A bit connect. Now to pop this one out, in my famous shed. It's Delphi, not a pattern pop. Fill up, pop to the garage, couple of litres in here, do your diesel filter and then pop back in the, the... Easy way to do this, next time you're filling up the motor, fill up your diesel can with a couple of three litres of pet. Easy way to do this, next time you're filling up with diesel. Fuck me, I'm an idiot. So nice fresh diesel, try not to get it everywhere. It's in this little box so it doesn't matter too much if I do tip it everywhere. And just fill it up until it brims. Okay then, this had been in there a little while. You've got to find where the fit. You've got to find where the oil filter is. No gloves. Shut up. No diesel anywhere. much for like sharing subscribing keep watching my channel